let's talk about how we can prevent these vulnerabilities now. In these exploits, we were able to run any code we wanted on the target computer. Again, this functionality should be avoided. You should avoid allowing users to run any sort of code on your server. Try to avoid all these functions such as the eval pass through and all these functions that allow a user to run operating system code on the server. If you absolutely had to use something like it, then make sure you analyze the input before you execute it. For example, in the example we seen where the code was doing a ping and it'll ping anything we put in the text box. So I'm putting here a slash dollar text box just to show that this is the input that we put in the text box. This is what the program actually looks like. If it looks complicated, forget about it. We're just talking about the concept here. So we're going to be talking about this here. So say, for example, you put what we did is we put a normal IP. And then we put the semicolon and then we put a command that we wanted to do. So we did, for example, LSLA. The problem with this is the web application used to take this the way it is, copy it and run it in here, which will when you when you execute this command, it will do the ping first and then it will do the LSLA, which is the command that we wanted. What you need to do is, for example, if you had to do it, what I advise is you just don't use these functions. If you had to use a function, a function like this, then what you should do is check that the input is what you're expecting. For example, you're expecting an IP address and nothing else. So you can use regex to make sure. Now I'm not going to talk about regex or what regex is. Regex is basically a rule that will make sure that the input looks on the following format. So it takes a digit, digit, dot, digit, digit, dot, digit, digit, dot, digit, digit, which if I put anything else, then the web application should refuse it. And this is exactly what the high security level does for the code. So I know we're talking about black box testing and everything, but I want to show you what a secure code should look like. So if we go to the security settings and I'm going to set this to high, this is actually called impossible in the new versions of uh, DVWA, but we're using the one that comes with Metasploitable and it's just called high. So the reason why they called it impossible because it's very secure. So if we go to the command execution again, and I'm just going to view the source to show you what they're doing. So they're implementing a way very similar to using regex. I think using regex could be a bit nicer for in terms of like the look of the code, but they're using the same concept. So basically what they have is they have the target right here. So this is what you input. This is what we put in here. So whatever you type in here is going to come up as this variable right here, the slash dollar target. So the first thing that they're doing is they're stripping the slashes from it. After they do that, they're dividing the IP using this function. So what this function does, it divides the IP based on the dot. So we have number, number, dot, number, number, dot, number, number, dot, number, number. So they're dividing this dot into an array. So for example, if you have an IP, let's say, so when we input our IP, which is 10, 20, 14, 208, what this function does, what the explode function does right here, it'll divide this into four into an array of four elements. So the array is going to be something like this. It'll be 10, 20, 14, 208. Okay. And each one of these elements can be accessed based on its number right here. So what they do is they check if each one of these elements is a number. So it checks if it's numeric for the octate for the zero, for the one, for the two, and for the three. And that checks for this element, this element, this element, and this element. So they're making sure that we have a number, 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 number. So when we try to inject our code right here, regardless of what characters we use or what, what tricks we use, as long as we're going to input characters in here, for example, PWD, the characters are going to go into here as well, into the last element. And when this last element gets checked in using this function, using the is numeric function, it will give an error because obviously this is not a number. 208 semicolon PWD is not a number and that will give us an error saying that we have entered an invalid IP. So the best way to do this again is to make sure what the user inputted is what you're expecting. In this case, we're expecting 
a number a number 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 dot number 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 dot number 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 dot number 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 so dividing this into four elements and make sure each one of these elements is a number will help us to protect this input and validate the input that it is correct and it won't be and hackers won't be able to use it to hack into our server